All right, welcome back to our unofficial guide to Wirecast. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the Wirecast multi view. And a multi view is the ability to configure a display to show multiple different things at the same time, I guess is the easiest way to put it. I am going to pull up the Wirecast multi view monitor here, and we're going to take a peek at how it works. Now, make sure this is coming through. When we click the little multi view button, it's located underneath the preview and the monitor screen. So I'm going to zoom into it really quickly so you can see because it's kind of a small little spot right there, that little monitor there. Um, when you click that, you're able to configure Wirecast multi view. And so let me zoom into it a little bit here. There we go. Um, this is how we configure the multi view. So first thing you do is you choose the monitor you'd like the multi view to to take up. So you need to have one or two different monitors in order to do this. One for Wirecast, one for your multi view. This is used a lot in sports. Anytime you've got a couple different cameras, you have to keep your eye on and manage the the video production. Having that multi view allows you to to keep your eye on a lot of different things at the same time. Now, for me, I have a Samsung, I have a third monitor, a Samsung monitor we're going to use for this, and I have a really easy way to show that to you, so that'll be good. Um, we have the ability to choose a lot of different ways to set this up, and this 10 slots is actually a really popular way to do it, where you can have preview and live at the top uh, and the right, and then you can have different cameras coming in in different locations. Now, I don't have a whole lot of um, sources uh, to, to fill all of that, but we'll just go ahead with that right now. And you will be able to see this monitor that I have up here behind me um, will actually show the multi view. Ooh, point that up there, sorry. So that's kind of the way it works. You kind of have a monitor that you can keep your eye on and it will show the preview or the output. So it's really that simple. So I'll show a couple different uh, ways to use this. Um, you could just use this as a full screen output. So you can click whatever is you want to show up in that full screen output. So, you know, if you have a secondary monitor and you want to show a different camera there, or if you want to show what's in preview, so that your on-screen talent or someone uh, in front of you can always see what's about to come up on the screen. Or a lot of times, you know, you just want somebody to be able to see what's live. Uh, you can click and do that. This two sl slots, there's a horizontal and a vertical. Um, this is a good way to be able to show somebody, hey, this is in preview, this is an output, and then send that over. Um, you can decide to use the labels or uh, superimpose them over each shot. Click OK real quick and um, we'll show very quickly that we have preview and output over here. If I change the preview, let's change something here, change it over to there, you can see the preview changing and the output changing. So if I cut to the output, now we're giving uh, our viewers the ability to see both preview and output, but I also might, again, like as we were talking about, maybe we just want them to see the live. You know, we just want them to see the live output. It's a great way to show um, your viewers, your audience, the different people that you're promoting a stream to in person, how to use this stuff. So let's take a quick look at the output options inside of Wirecast really quickly. Obviously, uh, we have the ability to you know, record and stream as an output. We have the ability to completely configure and set up the different displays for our multi-viewer outputs. And that is, what, that is another way to get to this screen that we were going over. So you've got two different ways to do it. Um, well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for taking the time. Let me know if there's any comments below and you can pick up uh, your keep going. We've got like two or three more chapters in this unofficial guide to Wirecast.